What's up YouTube? Welcome back. I'm going to show just a quick demonstration of the difference between the uh, Copilot 360 and the actual uh, Blue Cruise. As you may have saw on one of my earlier videos, I had uh, a Job 1 build Mustang Mach-E, which although had the hardware for Blue Cruise, uh, they have yet to unlock that for uh, the early adopters. Uh, I did go ahead and switch over to a Job 2, and it does come with the Blue Cruise unlocked. So as you can see, I have the Lane Keep Assist on. That's this button here on the remote, on the control, on the steering wheel. Then you can see the little green icon down in the bottom that that is on. Uh, but I'm not currently on a Blue Cruise map road. So if I were to turn on the cruise control, you hit the cruise control button there. So you can see the blue icon around the car telling you that it's activated, but you see the little hands-on logo. That means you need to keep your hands on the wheel. Uh, I can go ahead and cancel that. I'm getting that warning because the phone was high enough to block my eyes from that um, sensor. I just turned it off with the X button, and then there's also engage button. Heading back down the highway, hands-free clicked on as soon as I hit cruise control. Going around this bend here at 70 miles per hour. Holding pretty well. See, this is just a bit of a slight turn the whole way, leveling out, it's going to slightly curve to the right as we come around, just past this mile marker, it's turned off and asked me to put my hands on the wheel. One thing to be aware of, this is just hands-free adaptive cruise control. Uh, there's no additional features like uh, you'd see on a Tesla where the screen in front of you in their higher-end models or the screen over here uh, would show an illustration of the cars on the road. Uh, you know, being able to see what the car is seeing. And there is no uh, automatic lane switching. Uh, you know, you'd find that in Tesla's enhanced autopilot, um, and I believe it's present in the new Ionic 5 and the EV6. So, if I wanted to get over to my left, I would just put my blinker on. Nothing in my blind spot. I would move over, turn my blinker off, and then it will put itself back into hands-free mode. There's no integration with the onboard navigation. Um, so if you put in a destination, it's not going to take any exits for you. Um, it's just, again, essentially hands-free adaptive cruise control. Okay, just on a normal back road. Pretty straight for a while. Just going to throw the cruise control on. See, so you get the blue bubble. But again, you have to keep your hands on the wheel. So if you take your hands off the wheel, if it doesn't feel any torque or tension from your hands, it will give you the uh, warning, keep your hands on the steering wheel. 